when you've finished drawing the phases of the moon using line only you're ready to start adding some tonal shading so for this we're going to need a pencil I'm going to use a 2B pencil but don't worry if you don't have one you can use whatever materials you have and we're going to use a small circular motion to build up the layers of tone. Let's get started. Our first phase of the moon is the new moon. And for this one, you're going to completely shade the whole moon. So I'm using my pencil, I'm holding it at an angle. So I'm not holding it upright, I'm holding it at an angle. And I'm not gripping it too tightly in my hand so that I'm not pressing on too hard. And I'm building up small circles as I go um, each circle that I do is overlapping the one that I do before it so we're going over and over each layer now we're ready to add some shading to the young moon so again we're going to build up the shading using little circular motions with the pencil. For the waxing crescent, we'll continue to shade this area here. So it's just the light area is getting larger and the dark area is getting smaller. Continuing to use our little circles overlapping to build up the shade. Also add some shading around the outside of the moon to make the lighter area to stand out more and then once you're happy with all of your darker areas of tone you can start to make the moons look 3d as well by adding some lighter shaded areas to make them look more spherical to the waxing quarter and we're going to shade in almost half of the moon on the left hand side. Now we're on to the waxing gibbous. Again we're adding the darkest areas of tone on the left hand side of the moon and as you can see on the waxing quarter I've started to lighten up some of the pencil areas to show some lighter areas of tone and that gives a little bit of texture to the moon as well as making it look a little bit more 3D. Added the darkest areas of tone to the waxing gibbous and now I'm looking carefully at the moon to see where there's also some more shading on the moon some more shadows, maybe it's craters, maybe it's just shadows around the edge of the moon which make it have a more spherical appearance, make it look more 3D and I'm just pressing on a lot lighter now with the pencil than I was before. Mm -hmm. 